But if your pocket door is way out of adjustment or it's fallen off the tracks like this one, I'm gonna show you exactly how to fix it. Now, the first thing you wanna check here, if your door hasn't come off the track just yet, but it's out of adjustment, it could be a loose track. You wanna just grab onto that track and see if it will wiggle around. If you can see that there's wiggle in there, you wanna tighten up the screws that are securing it. Grab a screwdriver and just try to twist those screws back in and see if that is gonna stop the wiggle. If those screws are just stripping out, you wanna remove them, take them all the way out, grab some toothpicks, start with one, put some glue on the toothpick, jam it in there, break it off, and then re-screw that screw in, tighten it up all the way, and that should snug up nicely. Now, if that fixed your problem, you are very lucky. For this door here, it's already fallen off the track, so we need to proceed to step two. For that, we're gonna need to remove some of this trim work. Hopefully, we're only gonna have to do one piece, but it could be a three-piecer, and you don't really know until you get into it. Now, the first thing here is you have to determine which side you need to remove. To do that, you gotta look at this top bracket here. You can only access it with a pocket door wrench from one side. If you remove the other side, you're gonna be screwed. So if your pocket door is falling off, it's pretty easy to see which side of the bracket you need to access. If it hasn't fallen off all the way and still kind of dangling by a thread, you wanna just push the door to one side and then look up there and have a look from both sides so you can figure out which side you need to access it. Now to take off the pocket door stop, you want to cut the caulking first. It's gonna come off a lot easier. Take a sharp knife and just cut along that caulking. You don't have to press that hard. And then take your handy little flat bar. If you don't have one of these, check the description. You're gonna to wanna to get one. Take that jab it in there and just work it loose careful not to break these they're pretty brittle and you're going to need to reuse them so just work your way along usually there's a couple pin nails holding it in place you can also use the bar to pull out the pin nails that way it's going to be easier to put everything back together now this roller here this one fell out onto the ground so we'll slide that back in and it doesn't matter which way this goes We'll just slide that back up and in there. And then you want to loosen this top nut up a little bit, and then we're going to just slide the bracket back onto the bottom of the bolt there. So we'll close that up. You can see that it's not hanging properly. There's a bit of a gap on the bottom. Now to bring that gap closed, we need to tweak the door like this. Whatever you do here, do not raise this side up. That will work for the gap. Then when it comes to getting this wrench in to tighten up that top nut, it's going to be very, very difficult. You want to have as much space as you can here. The only thing you want to do is you don't want to drop it down so far that your latch doesn't work or you're rubbing on the bottom guide. So you want to check it once you lower this thing down. But let's start by lowering down this right side. Let's give that a try. It's looking pretty good. It's hitting flush right here and the gap is about the same as top and bottom. Now when it comes to tightening down that top nut, which is very important if you don't want this to fall off again, there's a couple ways here. I'm going to try to show you the easiest way without taking apart this header jam here. Of course, if you're struggling, you can definitely take this apart. I've taken it apart on the back side for filming and you can see, you can just reach right in there and snug this top nut on, no problem. But if you're at home, you don't want to take apart this. Then you've got more repair work. So what you want to do is with your pocket door wrench now, usually these come with a bit of a bend on them. You're probably going to need to take some pliers and put your own little custom bend. You need something that kind of looks like this. So take that wrench, now flip it around and use the straight part. Sometimes you can just get the straight part and kind of free spin that nut down as far as it's gonna go. Now we're gonna flip that thing around and this is the fun part here. Let's see if you can get that on the nut. If you're struggling, this is not the easiest thing in the world. Okay, I got it on there. And you wanna spin this baby counterclockwise. One more should do it. That's pretty good. Give it a little test. While we're here, we'll check this back one and make sure that it's groovy as well. Close the door. Boom, that's the hard part. Now we just need to put that trim back up here. Now you can definitely nail this back on, but then you have wood filler, paint touch-ups. 
Let me show you how to just use a little bit of dap and we can get this on in about a minute and then walk away. Put a little bit of caulking right at that back seam too, just so it's not gonna wanna fall down back there. Just a little dab, you don't need a ton. Smooth that onto the seam. And of course, just hit that little clamp spot after that dries up. The pocket door is good to go. And if your pocket door has a squeak, you're gonna wanna check out this video right over here. If you suck at caulking, check out this video right here. I don't know what. Was I spinning it the wrong way? I was spinning it the wrong way. <laughs>